Yo, what's up everybody? My name is AJ, and I would like to welcome you all to another GTA 4 Mods video. And in this video, guys, we're going to be here with the Iron Man mod of Grand Theft Auto 4, which is known as Iron Man IV. And this mod was made by Julio Nibi. Uh, it will be linked down below in the description as usual. If you don't know what this series is all about, it's basically my GTA 4 mod series where I use many different types of mods per video, and I just try to share the experiences with you guys that I have with these mods. Of course, I already do the Real Life Mod series and the LCPDFR series in GTA 4, but it gives me the opportunity to kind of sit down and play these mods and kind of showcase them to you guys as I play them. So here we are today with the Iron Man mod. It is known as Iron Man Ivy. If you've not seen the last GTA 4 mods video, it was a top-down camera view mod video. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys do enjoy this video and we're going to go ahead and get into it. So to access the menu for the mod, you just have to click insert on your keyboard. That's the default key, unless if you set it to something different. And if you just go down to Iron Man IV, which you may not be able to see, um, but if you go down to Iron Man IV you will see that uh, there is a menu and of course you just go to the warp to the Stark Tower which I wish I'd moved the camera to a different place but um, I will kind of just show a screenshot of what it looks like up on display here. Alright and ladies and gentlemen welcome to the Stark Tower so this is the Stark Tower where we have all the um, all the armors here a bunch of armors here. Now, there's one of them that I noticed that is missing, and that is the Patriot armor. I remember playing this mod back in 2013, and it used to have an armor skin where it would represent the colors of the American flag. It would have blue, yellow, and, uh, hold on, sorry, that sounded really stupid. I meant, <laughs> great job, AJ. I meant blue, white, and red. And I remember that used to be in the Iron Man movie. I just don't remember which one. But anyways, there used to be a skin like that. And for some reason, it's not here. I think it may have gotten taken out. But um, yeah, there. this is the Stark Tower. I've actually never seen this before in GTA 4. So this is pretty amazing. I think this says Stark right on the side. I actually have never seen what the Stark Tower looks like. Over here, we have the helicopter, of course. I've never actually seen this, uh, this Stark Tower mod. It looks pretty beautiful. Whoever made it, it's pretty cool. Anyways, um, so we're going to go ahead and choose an armor here now. I don't know which one I want to choose because all of them look pretty cool. I do have to say, though, my favorite one has to be this one right here. The one right on screen. Uh, this one's pretty cool, too. I do like that. It's called, what, the Heartbreaker? Um, high Altitude Suit, uh, Hot Rod War Machine 2.0. Oh, yeah, there was a War Machine one, wasn't there? I don't know where that one is. Hmm, you know, I gotta say, I think I'll go with this one here, so we'll go ahead and select this one. Well, okay, so here we are. We are here with the armor that we chose, and we can always switch later on to the other armors by clicking the insert button. And what's cool about this mod is that if you go in here, you can actually change the hood the way you want it. So right now I hood, I, I have hood, excuse me, I hood, I have hood V1. Um, you can change it to hood V2, which looks like that. You may not be able to see it in full form because there is some kind of little bar at the very top left. And there's also the Hood V3, which I find to be the best. I don't know, I just like it. it I like the blue that comes right out of it. It's pretty cool. Um, so that's a really nice blue, so I'm going to go with that. And it, I think it's a little bit too convoluted at the bottom right, but it's fine. Um, but we're going to go ahead and take off from here. I do remember the controls just a tad. There we go. I did read them earlier, and I think if you click insert, you can actually see all the controls. Yeah, there it is. Well, with the menu, that is, but not everything else. But I think I read the I and I earlier, and I do remember some bits of this mod uh, when I used to play it back in the past. But taking a look at the Stark Tower, though, that looks pretty cool. I've never seen that before, so that's pretty nice whoever did make that. Um, but I think we're going to go ahead and go against the shield. Um, there is a way you can do that. I think if you start shooting cars and everything like that, it, it might work. Um, but I just want to show you guys some of the features really quick before we do that. So we're going to set the Never Wanted mode on. And uh, let's go ahead and kind of go through the weapons here. So obviously to hold space means to kind of go into um, hovering mode. And then you just kind of start moving forward by holding W and it launches you forward like that. Um, you can uh, kind of go left and right, strafe left and right uh, by using A and D like that. That's pretty cool. And uh, to kind of show you the weapons of it, um, 
right now we have the missiles so if we kind of just aim on a car and we click the left mouse button it will shoot a car just like that uh we also have the hand blasters which kind of goes like this pretty cool huh <laughs> uh we also have the um test cannon which is like this and you can actually get a collateral with that <laughs> i like this mod so much man i have a nice in it oh my god that guy's on fire oh my god okay and to kind of use the minigun, which is what I have right now, just kind of do that. There we go. And of course, we're at the darts now. That Now, the darts is pretty interesting. If I go see someone here, let's see, uh, who can I go to? I'm going to go to you right here, buddy. Look at that. How cool is that? You can also go right over here and get these guys with the dart. Oh, goodness. Oh, God, what's happening here? There we go. And you can also hit that guy, you can hit that guy, you can hit that guy. You can get multiple targets too, like if you want to change to the rockets. You can actually aim at so many targets here. Look at that, see? So you can get so many targets before you launch your uh, missiles or your darts. It's pretty interesting, so... Alright, so we're going to go ahead and turn off the wanted mode now, and we're actually going to see if we can go against the shield, which I think it it, it installs the shield models. But um, we're going to go against the shield, and... Um, as we face the shield, you will notice that different Iron Man enemies start to appear. So they'll appear in different Iron Man suits. And uh, that is something I've never had the chance to do in so long. I haven't played this mod since 2013, guys. Tells you how long it's been. But anyways, let's get into it. I'm going to shoot some rockets at you. There you go. You, you're, you're really powerful with this mod. Like, you cannot go wrong with this. Um, to see a mount that you can do here. Oh my goodness. Hello. Hello. Where are you at? Uh-uh, not a chance, buddy. Hey, you can be powerful with this thing. <laughs> Look at that. I just shot that guy right into another cop car. Um, man, it feels good to play this mod, though. Seriously. Oh, goodbye, buddy. I'm gonna see if I can try to use the chest cannon on you, buddy. Now, I'm not sure when the other Iron Man um, suits come out, or uh, uh, Iron Man enemies. So I'm not quite sure when the other Iron Man enemies come out, but I know they come out after you shoot a few shield people down. Oh god, we just got those two guys in, with the dart. Okay. Ooh. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Alert. We have oh, there we go, coming. there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, so this is where the Iron Man enemy starts to spawn. Oh my god, they're like right here too. Where you at? Where you at? There you are, there you are. Hello, hello, hello. Alert, we have incoming oh. warning. System error. Oh, I didn't beat him? No, 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 no. Brilliant. Oh, there we go, we got him. So as soon as he says that, that's when you beat down somebody. Now, you'll also see different choppers trying to get at you. And you just gotta shoot those down. They usually be blipped with like Alert. We have a more saturated red color on the minimap. Oh goodness, where are you at? Oh, hello, buddy. Hello, hello. It's kind of hard to see these guys. Come on, come on. Damn, I can't even shoot. Oh goodness, I couldn't even shoot there for a minute. There we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, buddy. Come on. <laughs> well done, sir. And and you also get the Jarvis feature with this too, which is pretty cool. Like this mod has so much um so many different kinds of features in it, which is what I like about it. Alert, we have incoming. Oh snap, oh snap. Now see these are one of the choppers I'll try to shoot you with the rocket, you see that? You tried to shoot me down with the rocket. Not a chance, buddy, not a chance. Alert, we have incoming. Oof. Oh snap. There we go, there we go. Come on, buddy. They seem to be appearing in the same suit. There we go. And let's well put it done, sir. Oh, okay, okay. Now, I think he's in one of my favorite suits, the one I wanted to use, but I think I said I was going to wait on. It's this suit over here. Let's see, what is he in? Oh, snap. Why is he so bright? Oh, 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 I didn't realize that. Oh, snap. Alert, okay. we have incoming. I'm doing pretty good against the shield. Now, you can die. 
You guys see my armor down at the bottom left? It's starting to go down. Once your armor reaches zero, it's kind of like game over, basically. Kind of like end game. Sorry, let me never say that again. <laughs> that was kind of a bad joke. Anyways. Oh, you only live once. What the hell? Is that what he just said? Stay down, buddy. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, snap. You're back up. Nicely done, sir. Thank you, Jarvis. Thank you, bro. Alright. We have incoming. To take down these guys and take you down. There we go. So I think you can't fire certain things after a while because you need to let yourself heal. And you will see that in the very bottom left, you're able to heal yourself from time to time. So we're just letting ourselves heal. Now, one of the things I want to do whilst I'm playing this is I actually want to go to the storyline missions. And I'm not going to go through like Roman's taxi, like, bah, get out of here, I'm not doing that. Um, we're going to go through like the more dangerous looking missions and see how I can do using the Iron Man mod. Um, which is kind of what I did in the 2D mod episode. But uh, anyway, just want to take them as Alert, well. we have incoming. There we go. Okay, I think that was a helicopter. Alert, we have incoming. Oh, we'll take down this one last suit. There we go. Eat my... Impeccable performance, sir. Damn, we killed him with one hand cannon, too. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and call it for the, um... For the, uh, enemies there. Um, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to see how this works in GTA 4... GTA 4's missions. See what we can do. See what kind of power we can possess throughout playing the missions. I wonder how faster it makes it to using the Iron Man mod. I'm pretty sure it'll make it, like, ten times easier. Okay, so if you don't know what this mission is, then this is a uh, this is kind of a little explanation. This is the GTA 4 mission where you need to go up to um, North Holland over here, and you need to get rid of ten, uh, Teddy Benavides. I think that's how you say his name. Um, it's one of the um, one of the guys who Ray wants you to take out. So we're actually gonna go ahead and go there, but this time we're gonna go with the Iron Man suit. Oh no, did it crash? Yo, it crashed. What the? Okay, so looks like GTA 4 didn't like me using Iron Man for missions, so uh, I guess that will not work um, because I think it's a different model other than Nico Bellic, so that's alright, no big deal because to be honest, the Tony Stark model is actually Nico Bellic, but I think the rest of these guys here are like different ped models. Okay, so I guess GTA 4 didn't like me doing missions with the Iron Man mod, so no big deal. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do, um, since I can't do that, I actually do want to try one thing. So we did go against two different enemies when the shield were coming at us, but I want to see if we can go against them at maybe a harder difficulty. So I think it'll be harder if I spawn them by themselves. So here we go. Alert, alert. We're gonna we try have to go against two enemies here. And I'm hoping I can tackle them both. They're gonna be working as a tag team. Where are they at? Oh, they're underneath me, okay. There we go. There we go. Tackled you. Goodness, I can't fire at you. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Careful, sir. Goodness. Careful, sir. Where are they at? They're above me, as it seems. Oh, snap, where are they at? There you are. There we go, there we go. Nicely done, sir. Thank you. Okay, I'm kind of twitching, I don't know why. There we go, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Let me finish you off. Ooh, snap. Careful, sir. Where you at, where you at? Oh, you're right behind me, you're right behind me. Oh my god. Woo! Warning, system error. Well done, sir. I got them. I got them. I'm pretty good. <laughs> Let's see what they look like. So that's what you look like, huh? Oh snap, they're gonna blow up. Okay. Okay, so they're using that armor. So I guess if you're... I don't know why it's kind of twitching, but I think it's because of... Um, I don't know, it could be that I'm... Like, because I know, like, even in, in a game like Eleanor, if you try to run um, that game at above 30 FPS, sometimes the animations twitch, 
and I'm running this game right now at 82 FPS, now 85, 86, 85. So it's kind of going up and down between the 80s, um, or high 80s or mid 80s. So I think that's why it's kind of twitching the animations a bit, because the animations could be beyond what GTA 4 necessitates, um, or what it, what it wants to be. So I guess that's why it's kind of twitching. Um, but that is that part for the Iron Man mod. There's also one little tiny feature I forgot to go over that if you actually um, click E next to a car, you can actually lift them. And I think you can, yeah, you can fly with them too. That's pretty cool. And you can actually throw them at certain cars too or certain objects, which is pretty cool. Um, I think you can even carry one all the way up above, so let's try to do that. There we go. Maybe just kind of throw it like that. And as you can see, the vehicle will try to, you know, basically throw their vehicle like that. It's pretty cool. I kind of like this. Um, so there's a lot of things you can do with this mod. It's unbelievable. It's basically like Iron Man Simulator at this point. Oh, oh, oh my god. That was, that was brutal, man. That was so brutal. That was very brutal, man. Oh, that squished her, okay. Damn, it squished him against the wall. Look at the way he's standing. <laughs> oh my god, look at the way he's standing, dude. That's crazy. There you go. Bloop. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This is actually kind of funny. No way how that kind of works. Here, buddy, let's get you back on your feet. Let's get you back on four wheels. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Have some fun. There you go. You're back on your four wheels. But not for long, though. Oh, snap. Out of my way. <laughs> you can be so powerful with this mod. It's unbelievable. You can be anything you want to be. You're inevitable. I am inevitable. <laughs> oh man, this is pretty cool. Alright guys, well that's going to do it for that. I hope you guys did enjoy. This was kind of a little mod video that I would usually do. Kind of like the 2D mod video. But um, I'm going to try to do more of these mods. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to mix up the Iron Man mod with something different. Like uh, maybe I can throw in the Hulk mod. I know the Hulk mod is some kind of enemy feature where you can face like a Hulk enemy. And if you enjoyed the video, it would definitely help me out if you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. I would definitely appreciate that. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you on the next video. Peace out, guys, and take care.